We now come to a, uh, a presentation uh, by one of our principal sponsors, Ryan McCarthy, Managing Director of Stryker Medical, and you'll know that very striking booth that they have outside the uh, elevator uh, there in the, in the foyer. Uh, Stryker Medical are the principal sponsors for the Congress. Could I invite Ryan McCarthy to come forward and speak to us? So it was about two weeks ago, I had, uh, I had a moment at home with my, with my son. And it really reminded me what Julie said today. She said, and she stood here and she said, is your work in your blood? Do you remember that? And I'm at home and it's about 6 p.m. at night. And my son says to me, my son, John, seven, he looks at me and he goes, Dad, are you a paramedic? And I was taken back at a moment. It's been a long day, but I puffed up, you know, because my son thought I was a paramedic, which is kind of like a hero to a kid. And I said to him, no, John, I'm not a paramedic. It was disappointing to let him down. And he said, Dad, what are you then? <laughs> and I said, before being confused that he doesn't know, I said, well, you kind of, you know Batman, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, all excited. And I said, well, I'm not Batman. But you know how he's got all these incredible devices that help him save lives? I'm the guy that brings those devices. And he looks at me and he says, Dad, I'm going to be Batman. <laughs> and I had one of those moments of when my son is watching me do what I do with passion. The same kind of thing actually happened about, uh, about two months ago. I've got a daughter, Grace, nine. A lovely, sweet, gentle thing. You know, it can be a little bit timid, but just got such a lovely heart. And uh, one of my team, um, Eddie, had actually sent home this book. What's the author's name in the book? Jocko Willing, and it's a similar message to what Julie says in this book, it's for kids, but this book is about in difficult things in your life, say good, you know, when something goes wrong, good. You know, it's kind of like what Julie's saying in terms of you know, putting the smile on all those kind of things. And we're reading this book, and there's this moment where you don't get many of them, right, but you have this moment with Grace, and there's something about, um, she remarked on the book and she said, Dad, I'm going to start doing this, I'm going to start saying good, I was like, that's great. Why are you going to do that? And she goes, because one day when I grow up, this is what she said, I'm going to work for Stryker. And I was like, you've got to be kidding. Like, I just didn't know what to say. I didn't have a smart comment like the Batman story. But I sat there and I, I thought to myself, my work is really in my blood. You know, I'm not telling my kids what I do. I'm trying to be a dad and a loving father. You know, I didn't even realise I was bringing work home that much, to be honest with you. But it just goes to show that when you have your work in your blood, you can't help but show it. I love what I do. I honestly love where I work. I really do. And I'm sure you'd all be in the same situation of really loving what you do. But for me, it's been, it's not just the kind of the Batman kind of story about bringing the tools, but it's about the kind of workplace I get to work in. I get to work in a workplace um, where words like this conference are very common, where collaboration, partnership, integration are common ways we work. And a few years ago, actually, in 2014, we were recognised on this list called, I don't know if you've ever heard, the Great Places to Work. It's an award that happens for large workplaces. And we came 25th in the whole country out of all workplaces. And it was an outstanding result for us. We went back the year after, same award, and we came Fourth, 2015. We went back the year again, 2016, all hoping to just come fourth. And we came second. And that's that moment. That's why my daughter says to me, without me even trying to encourage her to work at Stryker, that's why. We truly have a great place to work. And Julie nails it. She really nails it. It's in the blood of who I work with. It's someone like Eddie. You know, we're collaborating so much as a team. He hears the story about my daughter being a bit more timid and he sends me a book. You know, that's how much we're in this together. And that's honestly how I feel about being in it with you guys. And so when I think through what happened at Stryker, like how, how does that happen? We go from just being a normal workplace to being a workplace that People come to work and they love it. They genuinely love working at Stryker. How does that happen? 
And I spoke about this at a conference with New South Wales Ambulance only a few weeks ago. So those in the room that heard some of this, I apologise. But I'm going to try to distill it down. But there was this thing that happened. Somewhere in that journey, there was this thing that happened where it went from what was said at the front to what was said in the office, in the factory, in the supply chain, in the kit room, in the service centre. It became the people started to live it. They started to live it. And a good way to try to understand this event was this, these two words we hear in leadership. And Julie's done a good job of trying to unpack this concept of leadership. And it's a complex thing. I'm not going to go too far into it. But there's these two words. There's motivating someone. Everyone know that? And then there's inspiring someone. And they're two different words. And in some ways, there's a real parallel to what Julie said around telling. Do you remember she said that thing around, you don't tell someone what to do? Do you remember this? Motivation, when you break the word down, if you just break this word down, come with me for a second. It's the, it's, when you break it down, it's motivation. Vation is movement. Okay, when you break this word down, motivation is the application of external force to create movement. That's kind of where the word comes from. It happens outside of a person. That's kind of like leaders telling. You can motivate someone from telling, applying external force. But at Stryker, there was something different that happened. We didn't do it on purpose. I'm not going to pretend you know, this was some big plan, but it happened. There was a point of inspiration. And inspiration is what I want you guys to start thinking about in terms of the words of, this part of what you guys are talking about. You're talking about collaboration, integration, and partnership. And I'm telling you, from the striker experience, this improvement doesn't happen unless people like you go back to your services and you start living this. And let me help you see why. The word inspiration. It's a word we use, right? Really easily used. Break it down again. Inspiration. It's actually the break, when you break it down, it's the inhalation of spirit. Inspiration. Inspiration. It's actually inhalation of breath. So it's something coming into your body. So when you go back, one of the things that we know in all the study of leadership, there's a lot of study of leadership. One of the things we know that drives inspiration is the actions of the leader. It is the example you live. So I'm going to leave you with this final thought. We all want to make a difference, right? We all want to be better. But the choice you make, the choice we make, the choice my team make, to inspire those around us is going to come from that choice to inspire, that choice to be the example. The beauty of being the example is when someone inhales your example, they run with it. They don't need you to keep encouraging them and pushing them along. That's motivation. That's telling. You've got to keep telling someone what to do. You want them to inhale your example. And the striker story is that. We weren't always a great workplace. But at some point, people like you in our organisation, they went back to the everyday and they decided, we are going to be a great workplace. And they decided, in our case, for, in a different outcome, to be better together. Thanks.